All right, magnificent basketball player Jalen Green, y'all. Y'all right now watching some highlights. Oh, he goes to the hole. He oh, he smashes. Oh, he smashes. <laughs> oh, nice dunk. Phenomenal. Boy, I got number crazy leaps, crazy hops, crazy athletic ability. Y'all watching it. Ah, oh, on his neck. Yeah, we coming through. Houston Rockets got a great draft pick. Highlight. Know he's going to bring people to the stadium with all his athletic ability. And guess what? A viral video has leaped, went crazy with him and his friend doing some inappropriate gestures, in my opinion. And we're going to do some commentary on the actual video. Now, y'all about to buckle up. You see he's smashing the rim? Well, guess what? You're going to see him smashing or act like he's smashing his friend. Y'all see him on top of his friend. Come on, that's another man. That's another boy. Y'all see that. Let's Okay, so y'all seen Jalen Green in the video. Uh, as he was smashing the basketball goal, him and his friend Josh, Joshua Christopher were pretending like they were smashing. Mr. Christopher was at the bottom. Mr. Green was at the top. And then as Mr. Green got up, we talked about it in the actual video, <laughs> He laughed about it. <laughs> Young man, let me tell y'all something. You have to take pride in something in life. And one thing that I surely take pride in is being a man. Because in today's time, it seems like people have an issue with a man being a man. Masculine, heterosexual, I'm talking about just a man's man. A man does not play like this. We don't joke like this. We don't do anything of such. I know y'all seen some of your favorite podcasters, some of your favorite bloggers, some of your favorite radio personalities play and make jokes about men touching men, men playing with men, but real men understand that the only thing we play with is women. When I say play with, I mean, if I'm going to have fun, if I'm going to dry hump, it's going to be on a woman. And it's going to be a woman that, that, that giving me the same energy. It's going to be a woman that consents to the gesture. It's going to be a woman that I'm entertaining or that I like, right? So, I'm telling you, young men, don't ever in your life do this nonsense that Jalen Green did. I'm not sure if he had his dad in his life, but I know for sure if my any of my boys ever played like this, we're going to put on some eight-ounce gloves, me and him, and we're going to set up a boxing match. And I'm going to let him know that I do not approve of this Ignorant nonsense. You got my last name. And you represent me in and out of my presence at all times. Do you understand that, sir? Because the day you feel like you don't want to represent my last name and all the sacrificing I've done in raising you, all the hard uh, days that I spent providing for you, if any time you feel like that don't mean nothing to you and you want to embarrass me and my last name, then you're going to have to see me in any regard, in every aspect. So let me reiterate this. Real men do not play like this. Now, if you want to play both sides of the fence, if you want to go on the other side of the street, be my guest, but let it be Known so everybody can know. Hey, he's on the other side of the street. He likes to play on both sides of the street. But when there's a man and men, men, we understand that there's only one side. In any sexual contact or anything sexual with a man, you have just relinquished your rights to being on this side, the real side, the true side. So, that's my thoughts on this. Uh, 
it's a sad situation in my opinion. You know, nobody was harmed. Uh, and when I say I'm talking about from a tragic context, but, 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 but this is inappropriate. Like, very, 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 very inappropriate. And if I was a father, I would be on that phone trying to understand why. It's just like, listen, you have to be careful of who you let your kids be around. And if you don't know these parents, if you don't know their values, their morals and their principles and what they stand for, a lot of times you need to even hang out with your 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 kids and their friends so you can see some of some of their temperaments and how they conduct themselves and how they act so you can understand hey that's the type of person and we know kids gonna hide certain things we know that but we need to try our best as parents to build a relationship to where our kids are vulnerable with us our kids are very transparent to, to some degree so that we can have some sense of uh, 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 understanding of who they're being around. Because that's how a lot of things transpire. Not knowing who your kids are around. Not knowing their parents. Not knowing what they stand for. You know, guarding their social media. Letting them have access to certain stuff. And I know my kids are a little younger, but I got everything locked down. You got to get a parent approval to access certain stuff on your, on your phone. But that's not your phone. It's really my phone because I pay the bill. You just enjoying that phone. You stay in my house. You cannot close the door unless I allow you. See, a lot of people, they give their kids too much control. And that's one thing I love about a lot of, you know, cultures like, you know, Jap Chinese and some African cultures and some Indian cultures. You can't even leave the house until you're married. Until then, you're going to stay under your parents' covering, stay under your parents' roof and get some type of a stability about yourself before they just let you go out there, go get a car note, go get an apartment. You never own the apartment. The car note, you're going to be working just to pay that. And a lot of us don't realize how we just set our kids up to already be in debt. We give them the baton in last place by some of the decisions that we make as individuals. And I know I kind of stirred away, but everything that I'm saying is very, 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 very important. But let me get back on the highway. As far as Jalen Chris in this video, I mean, Jalen Green in this video and Josh Christopher, and I might have badged the name in the process of doing this video. Oh, well, but his name is Jalen Green. If I messed up, oh, well. Listen, you know who the hell I'm talking about. At the end of the day, this right here was inappropriate. And young men, you should never play like this. And you grown, man. If you're playing like this, you know what you need. And I'm not even going to say it because I wanna, don't want to block my blessing. <laughs> I'm talking about <laughs> the monetization of this video. I'm going to see y'all in the next one. Make sure you like. Make sure you share. Remember, this is hard truth. That's all we give on this platform is hard truth. If you don't want to hear the truth, this is not the platform for you.